7-3 when Francis Christine Aron won this title 18 years ago. This is pure theatre. Just as it should be at the end of a fabulous day. So there is the lineup. Natalia Porebniak in two, Florian Nafua in three, Rajinga Kambunji in four, Desiree Henry in five. She was so impressive in the semi-finals. Yvette Lalova is in six, Daphne Schippers is in seven, Tatiana Pinto in eight, and Asha Phillip in lane nine. Porebniak getting through to this final as a fast loser. Nafua of France. Just 20. She the second of those fast losers. Well, here is uh, Muchinga Kambunji, fourth two years ago in front of her home crowd in Switzerland. Can she go at least one better here and pick up a medal? Desiree Henry. Well, she anchored uh, the Great Britain relay squad to gold at these championships two years ago in Zurich. Looking to pick up an individual medal this time. Yvette Lalova Collio, second in the 200 metres. She's now 32. She ran 10.77 once. The catch is, it was 12 years ago. Here's the defending champion, Daphne Schippers. Well, you have to go back to the old East Germany era to find the last time a woman defended this title successfully. Marley's good. That was in 1986 in Stuttgart. Indeed, it was her third straight title. There in lane eight, the German, Tatiana Pinto. And on the outside, here is the Britain Asher Phillip, a semi-finalist in last year's World Championships. Here she is now in a European final. So, two Britons, a German, a Bulgarian, a Swiss, a French athlete, an athlete from the Ukraine, and perhaps most significantly of all, a sprinter, a star from the Netherlands, the host nation. The widest margin of victory in this 100 meter championship at European level, actually set by another Dutch woman, Fanny Blankers Kuhn. That was in Brussels, 60 six years ago. It's the women's 100 metres final. Skippers, sub-11 in the heat. Can she go quicker here? And I'm afraid there's bad news for Henry. She's pulled up. But Skippers is steaming away. Four metres. 10.91. There was a sense of inevitability about it. The stage was set for that. She salutes her home crowd. Well, you have to send race. Well, it was always going to be that, and uh, about 10, uh, 10 9 0, it's been rounded down. And uh, the story for uh, Britain, Naziri Henry, really looked to pull up with a muscle injury halfway down. But let's reflect on that shortly. Let's reflect on what was a great performance, another great performance. She does hold the Dutch record and is the world champion. At 200, she chose not to run that here. Had she run it there, she would, of course, have been uh, a champion twice over. There's no question about that. Well, the Lova Collio has won her second individual silver medal after the 200 meters. She's done it here in the one. And Mujinga Kambunji did indeed go one better 
than two years ago. But this is the story. Keep your eyes now on Desiree Henry. Skippers is away and clear, even at this point. But I reckon Henry, well, she was in trouble very, very early on. It's a great shame. She really was in contention for a medal here. 11.20 in second place, then Zeri Henry would have got the silver, I'm absolutely sure. But that was beautiful running. We're getting used to it now, a demonstration. And that is the margin, 10.90 to 11.20 and 11.25. And into a slight headwind, only just 0.2 metres per second. So that, once again, is world class. And she was never even challenged in any way, shape or form. There it is, 10.90, Lalova Collio, a second silver medal to match the 200 silver, 11.20, and Kambunji, 11.25, the bronze. Asha Phillips looked just outside the medals in fourth place.